we're here on vacation and we all brought a book to read at night each night and so I brought the book I'm about to show you. It's one of my favorite books of all time. I read this book about 30 years ago and then I read it again along the way and each time I read this book it's life-changing. What makes this book so unique is it's inspiring and it's motivating. It's different than everything else you read about your job. Maybe everything else you read is factual. Uh, it's about contracts or about the product line you're selling or maybe you're trying to lose weight and you're reading about diets and you're reading about exercises. This is the book that's gonna motivate you to actually do it. And so this book is awesome. It's an amazing book. I'm going to run upstairs to the balcony talk to you about the book and then it's such a good book I'm having everyone on my real estate team read it too because it's so awesome when it comes to motivating to get results out of what you're looking for out of life so maybe you just started a new job maybe you're in career sales maybe you're trying to lose weight maybe you're in high school and you're wondering what you should do with your life Maybe you're studying all the time in college and you're getting ready for exams. This is the book that's gonna motivate you to do so much more out of your life. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please click subscribe. I'm gonna do some other book reviews over the next few months because there are some phenomenal books out there. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot. This is the book. So Og Mandino wrote this book over 50 years ago and Back when self-help books were really um, coming out, really getting popular, self-help books, uh, life enrichment books, all those different titles you give them. This is one of the great ones. And Og Mandino's written a lot of different books. This is one of the best books I have ever read. I've read this book three different times, and I can tell you where I was each time I went through this book. Uh, one of the best places to read a book like this is on vacation. And so, I'm going to kind of walk you through a little bit of it and uh, encourage you guys to read it. So I want to tell you about this book and why it's such a great book. Uh, you don't have to be in sales to get a lot out of this book. I think if somebody is more interested in uh, losing weight, that they're going to gain more out of this book than probably any other book you've ever read. It's... Um, it's a self-motivation book. It's, um, this book came along way before all the other big, recent, great books. There's a lot of really good books. But when it comes to reading an amazing book on how to improve your life, this is probably one of the king of all kings of the books. And it's been around a long time. It has some amazing endorsements in the beginning of this book. So the big thing about this book that makes it so interesting is let's say you're on vacation and at first you're all excited you get to go on vacation and escape you get to escape your life you get to escape and go have fun and decompress and then come back re-energized well why is that and then you're on vacation like we're on vacation now and then you start to uh, feel it getting close to the end of vacation you start to think about what you gotta do when you get back home. And your to-do lists start popping up in your head and everything that you need to do. And so, what happens then is, what are you gonna do when you get back home? Is life gonna be the same? And you start to think, I wish my life were better than maybe it's really going. Or if I were five years back in time, would I make any changes to my life that maybe would amount to a different way of life right now. So why is this book so important? Anybody who wants more out of your life, you need to be improving yourself. And the biggest way is through reading books like this. Uh, let's say you're in high school and you're getting ready for college and you're working on ACTs and, and you're trying to figure out your life. This is the best time you could ever possibly read a book like this. It's going to motivate you to do more out of your life. It's gonna prevent you from developing bad habits when you're early on as an adult. It's going to catapult your life so much farther 
than not reading it. Another, another thing, let's say you're a bit older now and you've gained weight and you need to lose weight and you don't like how you look, you don't like how you feel. You go to the doctor, you hate going to the doctor because every time they weigh you, it's embarrassing. You know you need to lose weight and they tell you you need to lose about 20 pounds or 50 pounds. This is the kind of book that's gonna help you more than any other book. This book is gonna help you be disciplined. It's gonna help you be self-motivated. It's going to make you excited. Uh, let's say you're in sales, like I'm in sales. I'm in 100% commission sales. I'm a real estate agent. If I don't sell, I don't make a dime. I have no benefits, no, no insurance, no retirement. My income is based solely on me selling. Now, I sell a lot of houses. I have an amazing career. I've been doing my job for over 20 years and I'm one of the top individual agents in the country. Now I've got a team of agents. Last time I read this book, it motivated me so much, I put together a team after all these years. So, the book is so important. If you're looking at something more out of your career, this book is gonna do it. So here's how you read a book like this. It's very important that you understand what this book can do for you. You're sitting on an opportunity when you read a book. This is totally different than reading for pleasure. This is not reading for pleasure. This is reading for improvement. It's a whole different kind of purpose of a book. So if you are right now thinking, I want something more out of my life, whatever it is, you, you need more sales, maybe you're a business owner, and you just need more customers, you need more success, things aren't going as good as you wanted them to, or you're, uh, you're studying all the time and, and you need to study more and you're, and you're feeling run down, you're feeling a little depressed, you're frustrated, this book is gonna help fix that too. I love the weight loss analogy because losing weight is the hardest thing anybody will ever do. It's by far the hardest thing because it's like me in real estate, there's no boss. I don't have anybody making me do it. I don't have, I don't have the accountability of a normal job where if you don't show up three or four days in a row, you're on probation or you're fired or if you do a bad job, you, you live like that, but you always have accountability to do your job. With losing weight, with studying for a test, with, with doing real estate, any kind of career sales or your paid commission, it's hard. It's hard to stay motivated long term. This book will help fix that. So the way that this book works, you're going to read the introduction, you're going to read a couple chapters. then. It's going to introduce what it calls some scrolls. It's gonna make sense when you read the book because it's, just, it's fascinating. The storyline put behind the writing of the book is fascinating. It makes it really interesting. It makes it really fun to read. And of course, the number one thing I love about a really good book is it's gotta be short. The shorter the book, <laughs> the better the book. <laughs> but if you struggle to read, you're gonna like that aspect of this book. It's gonna make its points very clear with a lot of impact. Now, what's gonna happen? Each of the chapters following the beginning two or three chapters of the book are very powerful. Each one's really short, so what you need to do is as you read those first three chapters, you're gonna be intrigued. You're gonna think, oh my gosh, this is a pretty good book. Then as they begin discussing the 10 amazing things that were gonna change your life. By the way, number one is gonna change your life. Number two is gonna change your life even more. Take the chapter, the next chapter, and read it, and then stop. And think about that chapter, dwell on it, because you're gonna be like, wow, that was a really good chapter. Then, I think what you should do, this is how I read it the first two times I read this book, is read the same chapter again the next day, and the next day, and get this chapter into your head. It's important that you, that you master what that chapter really says, because here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna move right on to chapter, the next point, 
and the point after that, and you're gonna read them all in a day, and then it's like, ah, I don't remember what chapter, what the, what the, uh, the chapters were with the first point and the second point, because each of these builds on themselves, and they are so good. In fact, they are so good, there have been books come along, thousands of books since, that discuss the same points that are in this book. So, that's how you read this book. And it should take you a while to get to it if you do it like that. Um, after you feel very comfortable with that chapter, then start the next chapter. Read that chapter, grasp what's in it. You're gonna think, oh my gosh, that's a really good chapter. Then, don't read any more chapters. And the next day, read that chapter again and really understand what that point can do for your life. It's a big deal. It has changed my life the first two times I read it. Now that we're here on vacation, I brought the book again. It was just time to read it again. I wanna take my personal business to another level. And when, you, when you're doing the same habits that you've been doing for the last few months, and again, this would be weight loss, or maybe you're really in a mood, you, you wanna gain weight. You want to become more muscular. You work out all the time. You don't see any results. You go to the gym for an hour and you're just not looking like everybody else in the gym. This is another reason you need to read the book. It will motivate you to continue. It's gonna make you very self-disciplined and you're gonna see huge results after reading this book. But you gotta read it correctly and then work your way through it. And I'd say by the time you get 30 days later and you're doing what's in this book, you're gonna be just so excited about life. I believe in this book so much that I bought a copy for everybody on my real estate team so they can be reading it over the last month and change their lives too, because I know it's going to. In fact, as you read even the endorsements in the, in the front of this book, you've got Norman Vincent Peale, you've got the president of uh, various different corporations who have endorsed it in the beginning. You've got the Dean of the Dale Carnegie Institute. He's got an endorsement in the beginning of this book. It's that good of a book. So take this book really seriously. There are lots of really good self-help books from years ago. And I suggest you read all those because I'm gonna be doing book reviews on those too. It's so important that you improve yourself all the time especially when you're trying to do something in your life that requires a lot of self-discipline and you struggle with it. I struggle with, with just staying motivated a lot because I just do. Here's what's funny though, you read a book like this and if you put into practice what the book says to do, your life will change. You're gonna be so excited. And then you're gonna realize, wow, I probably don't need to do it all anymore. And that's when you start slipping backwards a little bit and that's why I'm reading the book all over again because it's going to help you change the habits that have gotten you to where you are right now. So I'm on vacation. I'm looking at going back in two or three days. What am I going to do differently that's going to change my life from how it was when I first got on vacation here? That's what the whole book is about. So in this book are 10 scrolls. He calls them scrolls. You're gonna go through the scrolls one by one as they are read and how it affects the guy that's reading the book. Or the, it's the star of the book and the storyline behind it. And it's, it's so interesting. So I'm going to encourage you, read the book. Get the book on, I got it on Amazon, go to a bookstore. It's that good of a book. But when you get the book, don't just set it down somewhere. Don't be like everybody else and just put it on a bookshelf. And 20 years pass and then you think, oh yeah, there's that book I got. Read the book. The other nice thing I really like about this book, if I didn't say it already, it's short. I think I've said it a couple of times. Maybe you're like me and you get a really good, a really good self-help book. But you make it only like eight chapters in and then, I don't know, distractions of life happen and the book is put on a shelf. This book you can finish. It's short enough, you can finish. Make it to the end of the book. Let it change your life. Embrace what it says to do. This is what I hope everyone on my real estate team will do. I hope you do it too. 
Uh, this book's been around a long time. It's a famous book. First time I read this book was 30 years ago, and it definitely changed my life back then. I was just coming out of college, and it was such a good book. It hit me at a very good time in life. You know, if, if you're an adult now and you've got kids in high school, they need to read this book for sure. This will transform the direction that they're heading. Um, and I'll tell you, if you're, if you're dieting, you're frustrated, you do everything that you think you're supposed to be doing and nothing happens, this is the book you need. Hope you have fun reading it like I just did again. And I hope it changes your life just like it has impacted mine in some huge ways every time I read it. See you later, guys. Thanks.